your runner-up today. Damien, please take the silver trophy and present it to... <laughs> This is just like absolute bollocks. <laughs> so we're going to talk about last year because last year's showing has such an impact on today and how important this show is to me. That was footage from last year we were filming, we were hoping to release some stuff, but I was I couldn't even I can't even after that show I couldn't even look at my physique. I couldn't even look at the clips and to have people around me saying oh no you're at your best your biggest and leanest and i so blatantly wasn't it just infuriated me and that clip there just sums it up why things needed to change and why things have changed last year i was on 1400 calories on my training days and on my high days i was running like 2600 calories um, all the way into this show the lowest my calories have reached this year was about 2,000 on my rest day. So this prep has been so different in so many ways. So I've been bodybuilding for like, since I was 19 was my first show. I'm 23 now, so like four years of competing. And I've won a lot of shows in the past. But what I learned this year is winning shows doesn't mean you're at your best. And once the competition got higher, last year revealed the things that were missing. And I, went from being a junior champion in 2019 to being fifth and not even just fifth but what made it worse was I was best in Britain from my age group in 2019 and in last year I lost to two British people uh, that when you look at their physiques with all respect to them good physiques they look great very good showing I carried so much more muscle than them so something was wrong and that was the condition but also just how I had been set up to go into that show. I was tired, so fatigued, crazy amounts of cardio, extremely low food, crazy peak week old school protocols like dehydration and vitamin C, dandelion root, flushing loads of water out. My, my quads were cramping that when I stepped on stage, I couldn't even pose properly. Imagine pushing yourself so, so hard doing hours hour of cardio every single day for when you step on stage to not even be able to pose properly. Like that's just devastating and you could see it on my face up there and I knew something was wrong and I'm someone that's been used to like winning shows and getting in the first call out and getting to the centre of the first call out and I went from that to last year not even making the first call out to be stood on the side looking at six competitors all stood there posing before you that was the most heartbreaking feeling I've had in my bodybuilding career I stepped off that stage and I was told by people around me that that was me at my best. It then made me feel like my potential had slipped massively and was it even worth continuing in bodybuilding. I reached out to AJ and soon realised how bad my physique was on that day and what went wrong. AJ explained like, you know, dehydration and then eating loads of, amount, loads of carbs and just pushed all those carbs into the remaining fat stores. That's why my glutes went soft. That's why everywhere went soft. I went watery, but I was also really flat because of how over, over dieted I was before the show. This time round, we're just running the look like now and we know what it's gonna bring. We're tracking, we're eating the same foods I'm used to, we're staying hydrated and we're just coasting into the show. This is why I'm so excited for today because today's video is gonna show you guys a true reflection of where my physique should be. I'm coming forward a bit. If you want. Uh, yeah. So it is show day, and uh, yeah, I can't believe it. This prep is literally just blown by, and yeah. So had I've I've had around seven hours sleep. It wasn't too bad, but every time before the show. My sleep is like just so bad because I'm just thinking about show day and yeah, all the stresses of that. Uh, but we're here and I'm so excited. 
I'm really happy with the look. And um, yeah, I just can't wait to show you guys and step on stage and step under the lights you know, and pump up. And you know, I love to do bodybuilding. And it's time to show my physique how I want to show it and you know, do what I want to do. And yeah, the day is here. It's time to come back and show people my true potential. Yeah, let's bring it. So first meal of the day is 100 grams of cream rice. So AJ sent me, to me like a full sheet of just like show day, uh, which is really clear. Uh, so we're having 100 grams of rice times three and then it's a show. Once you're, you've got the look and stuff, like the meals that you have before you step on stage aren't, like they're important, but it's not gonna change much. So don't stress too much about it, but obviously, yeah, these are the meals. Um, yeah, I can enjoy it. Vanilla cream of rice is so good. So everybody, so yeah, with your body weight being up 0.2 kilos, you would have definitely gained some fullness. It's just at the moment you're probably thinking, or oh, you're a little bit like, focused on the show, you're a little bit nervous perhaps, and you've obviously had maybe a little bit of an interrupted night of sleep last night, that will make you feel like you're not quite as full as maybe you were yesterday, when you were potentially a little bit more relaxed, um, and obviously had a lot go on last night as well, so in terms of getting your time sorted, travel and all that jazz, so um, mate, I think the looks absolutely tremendous, if you want my personal opinion, I actually prefer the purple, but you can go with what with what closing trunk colour you feel is best suited. I personally prefer the purple. Um, mate, you're, you're very, very crisp, especially especially in the quadriceps. Very crisp, nice and boxed up through the glutes. Under stage lighting, that's gonna look, that's gonna look like glutes that are stage ready. That's it, like, that's gonna look spot on, mate. I promise you that. So as long as you get on your hamstrings, and if you're not, I'll shout at you. Um, it's gonna be a very, very, very good look. Uh, it's gotta get a good pump up backstage. Stay on your water this morning uh, as we've planned, and then obviously start to taper off. And yeah, mate, just execute the plan of action. I'll see you at the show, um, and then yeah, we'll be up there sooner than you know it, mate, and doing the thing. So yeah, any questions, mate? As always, just just let me know. But I'm very confident in this look, and yeah, it's just time to, time to do it today. So we're on route to the Ben Hall, where the show day is. And yeah, just uh, really in the mood now. Feeling a bit like some adrenaline, a little bit like, and I'm quite a competitive person. It's just about that confidence. I need to go out on stage and show my confidence because if you're looking at other people next to you and all that, like judges pick up on that and then they think, oh, does he not think he fits in? So yeah, it's just time to know where I'm at and like know my potential and, and show them it. And yeah, I cannot wait. It's time now. <laughs> 68. No <laughs> 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 It melts in the free freeze. Oh, there's your You can still weigh that out, right? Yeah, you can see that. I had a bit of an issue. Never put warm cream of rice on top of dark chocolate. Now my whole bag is just melted dark chocolate. What's this actually? <laughs> so we got meal two. 100 grams of rice and 50 grams of chicken. <laughs> Literally 50 grams. It's barely even noticeable in there. But um, protein's really low because we're aiding digestion of carbs and we don't want to create any like distension of the stomach and bloating at all. I want my stomach as tight as possible today. So that's why we brought protein down as low as possible. So we're basically just having rice and then 40 grams of dark chocolate afterwards as well. So the fats are just to hold carbs more, just to make sure I'm preserving fullness as much as possible. We're in the competitors area right now, just chilling out. I'm not gonna move from here until I step on stage really. I'm just gonna eat us and chill out, so yeah.
So the second coat of tan is on, extra dark now. But yeah, a few hours out, I think it's, yeah, probably three and a half hours out, I'd say. One more meal to go down, uh, then it's just continuing to relax, keep my legs up and not try not to overexcite myself. And AJ, when I see him, we might, I might get him to have a look at me briefly. But to be honest, at this point, all the work's done. We're not going to make any crazy changes at this point. You know, you don't, you don't make a risk when you've been prepping for so long. It's all about finding that baseline look and just landing it and holding it. And that's what we're doing now at this point. Uh, at this point now as well, I'm having just sips of water. So I'm avoiding drinking too much. And I'm still peeing quite a bit. So I'm getting drier, crispier and crispier. <laughs> Um, but you know we're not trying to get like super dry because it makes you flat. But yeah, it's just, just monitoring hydration pretty much. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, I was watching them on stage, but I'm now just going to chill out here because I think you can get a little bit fixated and looking at like all the physiques on stage and it can make you a bit more nervous. But I'm just excited more than anything at this point, just to present my physique. I think you soon learn in bodybuilding very like you can't control there's a lot of variables out of your control it's not like playing a sport where your performance on the day drastically is going to change like matter and it can change massively you know i look how i look now and it's just about posing and enjoying it because i can't control who turns up you know there are many freaks in this world uh, <laughs> there's many genetic freaks that could disappear you never know and uh, you like you'd be surprised how how good you can get naturally like there are some very good physiques out there. So we'll see. But yeah, I'm very confident in what my physique is. And as long as I step on stage and I see like the look that I'm happy with, then I'm happy. Whereas last year that, that did not happen. And that's why I wasn't happy. Yes, I did come fifth, which made it a lot worse. But it's just about how I look at this point. And yeah, the look is, it, it's good. It's really good. So let's do it. Sixty-eight. Yep. Sixty-nine. Yeah. Good. Such as. Pressure on that front leg. More weight on it. That's it. That's good. Yeah, your mid-session's massively better, mate. So much better than yesterday. Bam. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good? yeah, really good. Feel really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's really good. Your legs, yeah, you're, you're definitely, yeah, yeah. You're definitely a lot drier than earlier in the week. It's just that it's the mid-section just feels... It's my vacuum is yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because of the limited food volume. Like protein. you're used to having like 150, to... 200 grams of chicken, so and like a lot of like veg. Yeah, they're not pre so so the normal stuff, stuff. So <laughs> it makes a massive difference. And show like you're probably a bit hungry, but I'd rather you be hungry. Yeah, Hello, mate. You're right. right. I'd rather you be hungry in midsection tight than yeah. anything else. So. Yeah, yeah, sweet. Conditions like conditions sweet. Yes. Perfect for the qualifier, yeah, yeah, it is, yeah. We can get more off 100%, I'm not gonna lie to you on that. Yeah, yeah, um, agree, yeah. But it's good for the qualifier. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. So we've got 30 minutes to I'm on. <laughs> I'm just gonna steadily pump up, nothing crazy yet, but I'm just trying to get things warm. And uh, AJ's gonna help me just before to properly pump up. <laughs> I'm too fair, I've got two others in there so I could change them but we'll match. Yeah, we'll match. 
who wears purple better? You always get like nervous before, like you just lie there for like hours and hours and baggy clothes, not looking at your physique. And you're like, what if something's gone wrong? But I went to the toilet on the top off just to see and yeah, <laughs> feeling good, feeling very full, dry, like my waist is super tight, so I, I can't complain right now. 15, minutes, so can I just see who's here? If I shout your number, just say yes. 55. Yeah. 68. Yep. 69. Yep. Cool. Very full. It's good. Yeah, you look big. You look massive. Cheers, <laughs> man. Fucking smash it, yeah. Cheers. Let's bring that confidence on stage. That's what you yeah. need. Yeah. Alright. Let's just get doing some lateral shit. If anyone needs their glaze, now is the time. Yeah. 68, 69, 70, 71. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your men's open medium class. This is ones over 170, up to 178. Gentlemen, you are now being judged. Please take a quarter turn to your right.
third place at the men's medium today. Damien, please take that trophy and present it to number 55, Rob Coy. <laughs> Your runner up and a very, very close decision for first and second place. Your runner up today. Damien, please take the silver trophy and present it to number 69, Matt Berry. Your winner, first place, and the 2022 Men's Open Medium Class Champion, number 68, Adam Power. That was a battle. That was a serious battle. Matt looked very, very good. But, yeah, it was tough up there as well. Yes! Like, the, lights, <laughs> the lights are so hot. And I was centre stage. I thought I had it, and then I got moved. And then, yeah. Love you, well Love done. You. I thought I had it, and then they moved me. And I was preparing myself. I was like, right, look, seconds are right. And then I heard 69 and oh my god. Yeah. The relief. Oh yeah. Oh. That's the longest like 30 seconds <laughs> up there when they announce the numbers. I've lost I've lost my voice. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, literally. Yeah. I, I was, was like, shouting. Yeah. 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 yeah, so the overall was not meant to be, but if I'm honest, I'm really happy. Like he's like a lot older than me and it just has overall size and you know with time that, that's going to come. Uh, I'm just glad to hear like the, the judges said they voted for some other people so I wonder if maybe you know, it was slightly more open but he's very very good and I'm just so happy to win my class. That's all. You know, we're coming for that British title for a medium class. That's uh, so yeah over the moon. It just feels insane because that was a battle. <laughs> that was a battle. But we did it, guys. We got the first place. We're back. I told you this was a comeback series and we came back. And we're going to be even better for the finals, I promise you this. There's, there's ways to improve this physique. This was a qualifier look. Condition was where it needed to be and now we've got that room to, to push along. We're not sacrificing muscle tissue. AJ has done this job superbly, so credit to him. I'm so thankful for him and what he's done. Uh, but yeah, we're going to come back better, which is so fun. I, I, this is I, this is bodybuilding. I love it. There's always ways to improve. Uh, but yeah, first place. Oh, it just feels so good. And for a minute, like I got moved from the middle, all that stuff, and I, I, doubt started creeping in. And then I heard my my number, and oh my god, like yeah, it just it feels surreal. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support in this prep series. It's not finishing, there's more to come. British finals, let's go, we're four weeks out. Oh, I'm just so excited, I love this, let's do it.